What's up, y'all? Dick Hi-Fi, back for another episode of the ABCs of the ASR, dealing with the wonderful, powerful ASR-10. Uh, we're going to talk about envelopes. Uh, we were last last uh, installment. We talked about editing samples uh, a little further, and uh, we're still talking about editing samples, just in a different way. Not necessarily the the wave sample in terms of loops or start or stop, uh, but we're going to be manipulating the volumes and and uh, different ways it plays. So we're going to use an envelope, which is kind of a throwback. Uh, it's a synth term. Uh, but I'll I'll get into it right away and show you show you how these things uh, work. So I got a little sound here that we'll be we'll be messing with. So one of the one of the essential things that you're going to want to know or you want to be able to do with a sound once it's sampled is uh, is to do this. See, I press the press the key. I let it up and it stops, right? Now, if we go edit envelope in the envelope mode, it says normal. I'm gonna key up and it says finish. So now, it does that. It plays itself out. I don't need to keep that down. It comes in handy when you're playing certain things like drums or whatever, just different sounds. Sometimes it just uh, kind of informs the way that you wanna lay your sequence down. But that's how you do it. Edit, envelope. Uh, you'll be using this envelope three. You'll notice there's three of them, but uh, 90 percent of the time you're using this one um, so that's that uh, another I'm gonna put this back on uh, normal for a minute another thing uh, that you can do is uh, edit the velocity which uh, usually uh, sort of by default is gonna be tied right into the volume it's the most natural uh, way like if you play a piano if you hit the key soft it's soft if you smash on it and hit it fast it's hard obviously so that this mimics that so uh, you go to soft curve velocity uh, you can put it on velocity there's a few different modes of it velocity one or velocity velocity one velocity two they just have slightly different curves uh, it's a very subtle thing uh, and you can experiment in it and see what what really works for whatever sound you're gonna do so you'll notice uh, I have, the, I have it set to velocity. I press it soft. It's low. A little harder. A little harder. Pound on it and see it goes up. So um, that's pretty straightforward. I'm going to put it back on off. So it'll be at full volume now. Uh, now, if you go to, uh, let's see here envelope <clears throat> now the envelope this is something to uh, understand the concept of basically throughout the time the duration of the sample uh, this is going to deal with the levels of the sample as it plays through the time so current value uh, is just going to mean that it's on all the way it's playing at its peak volume from the beginning to the end uh, it's got some presets in here which we're going to go through and you'll be able to sort of hear what's happening there so the first one is full on, which was just like current value. The reason there's two is because current value is totally editable. Full on is just full on. All zeros, that means all the uh, volumes are set to zero. I don't know why that would be useful as a preset. Uh, full velocity range, just another preset. I'm not even sure what that is. Slow string. I think that ramps up a little bit. Most of these are really subtle. Piano decay, you hear it decay. So that would be like a strong attack, like dunk, and then you know you hear it trailing off. Percussion, the same thing, just a different curve to it. Ramp up. Now, these are all presets, and you can just you can go through those, and you know they're useful to some degree. I don't really use them that much because. Like I said, when you're in current value, it's totally editable. Editable. I don't even know if that's a word. Um, so here's our hard velocity levels. Uh, our velocity is off, so this is going to be our hard velocity level is going to be our default for, for everything we're doing with it. If you scroll through these, you'll see soft velocity level. So if I had the velocity on, this would be the top end of it. 
and this would be the lower end of it, of the velocity, whether it was soft or hard. So these are the, the levels, volume, and then after these two pages, you have the times. So these are set to, I guess, milliseconds would make sense. So the first one is zero. Uh, I'm going to put that up to three a little bit and th and kick this one to, to this one, this velocity, or this level rather, to zero as well. And this is not a percussive sound, so you're not really going to hear it that much in that. So I'll, I'll put this up a little bit more. We're at 13. You'll hear how there's a gap there. You hear it coming up again slower. So this is correlating, this first number uh, time is correlating to this first number of volume. So we're at zero. That's why it's ramping up so slow because as it starts out, the sample is zero, no sound. And it's ramping up till it hits 99, which is full volume, but not for a full 46 milliseconds. So if we put it at zero, it's instantly going up to where it's supposed to be. Um, now, I'm going to show you, and, and they, they kind of go throughout, you know, you can adjust those numbers. If you're trying to do a certain thing with the sound in terms of uh, its volume, you can experiment with that. But I want to show you here in times, this last number is a restrike number. So <clears throat> just like we had finish, and I hit it, and it finished all the way out, this is a more of adjustable version of that. So here, it start, the default is 20. Uh, and on any page on the ASR, if you adjust it, and if you just hit cancel, it goes back to where it was when you went to that page. Um, so let's, 20 is the default for any instrument. It's almost unnoticeable that it keeps sounding after you let it up. But it is a little noticeable. So let's put it up to 60, and you'll see. It kind of finishes throughout, but it, it tapers off. And that's really good for some uh, instruments when you're trying to make them sound um, sort of natural, especially anything that's like keyboardy or, or, or windy or something like that. If you want it to, to taper off, anything that you want to give a little natural decay to, that's a good, uh, it's a good way to do it. Now again, if you just wanted it to uh, finish all the way out, you would go to envelope mode and uh, hit finish. So that's basically the, 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 the gist of the, uh, the envelopes. Not really applicable to every instrument that you're going to do or every sound that you're going to deal with, uh, but it's a, it's a, it can be a really useful thing. Um, uh, there's a lot of ways to apply that. So mess around with that, see if it gets you anywhere. Good luck.